Saints 93. What's up, DBB93 squad? I want to thank all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our old subscribers for returning. What's good? So this will be our daily reading. This will be our daily reading part two. So if you haven't checked out part one yet, make sure you go ahead and go to my channel and check out part one. But this will be the daily reading for part two. Um, it will be for August 15th. So the first card I put was the hangman. Okay, so with the hangman is it's you and you're being indecisive right now. Um, you're indecision. You have to sacrifice something in order to move forward. So with that being said, I feel like right now you're trying to figure out how to surrender to the situation so you can get out of the situation. But the only one holding yourself back is you. And with that being said, it's it's meaning as far as you're the only one that's keeping yourself held up. You may feel like right now there's no way to go. Um, how do you get out of this situation? But actually, you have the perfect way too. The hangman is a good card. This is you looking at things in a different perspective. This is you letting go of your control issues. Um, it could be the person that's around you as well, whoever you're thinking about. But I feel like this is more of a you energy. But this is you changing your perspective so you can get freedom in a situation. So you can continue to grow. Um... I don't know. For some of you, I feel like the reason you're in the hangman position is because you don't feel like you have power. Again, that's part of letting go of control issues as well. But I feel like when it comes to a situation that you're very dear and near to, you feel like you don't have no control because you could either be out of communication, um, you could be separated, or you could feel like you're not able to express your feelings in a situation. So, again, the hangman is here to let you know that you need to look at this in a different way. You need to figure out, or not even just figure out, follow the guidance that you're receiving to move forward. Because it's only you holding yourself back. This person in this picture can wiggle free. They're choosing to just dangle and hang there so let's get into the next three cards that were put and this will again will be also your energy or the situation around you it says admit your true feelings to yourself be honest with yourself only you know what is what it is that you truly deserve or desire excuse me Y'all gotta excuse me, like, I'm going through a major sinus attack, and I just really don't feel <laughs> too good, but I do feel up to doing a reading, so just bear with me. The next card you have is pregnancy. The birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. The next card you have is autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. And you know, you guys, also with this whole, um, this whole sinus situation, uh, it also could be a transformation of energies right now because we are going through that. And if you are experiencing this type of situation, it's you feeling as if you're catching a cold, but it's like symptoms of having a cold that's um, helping you go through this transition. So let's go into your blockages. Let's see what your blockages are going to be. Three of Pentacles. Let's see. Whoa. The Hangman. 
strange. The Knight of Cups. The Star card. And we have the Queen of Wands. So let's break this down slowly. We got Three of Pentacles with the Hangman. I feel as though some of you feel like you've been doing all this work, but you haven't quite seen either someone or something come towards you, which would be this person with this Knight of Cups. Again, it's not you looking at what you don't have, but look at what you do have. Look at what's coming in for you. I feel like this hard work, you feel like you're not even moving. You're still staying still, but... Honestly, if you reflect back on the things you were going through before, you will see great, tremendous improvement. And I feel like you need to focus on the improvement than the loss, okay? So we have the star card with the queen of wands. It's a blockage for you. With the star card and the queen of wands being a blockage, I feel like you're getting information from the divine. You just don't know how to use it into what, you know, you need to move forward with. And I feel like that's a blockage for you because it's, it's like saying this. If I have information and I don't know how to move upon it, then what do I do? I feel like I'm stuck, right? And, I mean, that's for a lot of people. That's not just, you know, you thinking of that. No, a lot of people feel that way. Um, I know I felt that way a few days ago. Like, I'm getting all this information, what do I do, what do I do? But it's not so much of, what do I do, it's you taking this action. And honestly, for some of you, this action could be resting. This action could be taking a break from everything and just relaxing to yourself, understanding yourself more. I feel like with the star card being your blockage, this is you also concerned with the divine as far as why haven't this action been moving towards me? I I know I felt it, but um, I don't see it. And it's not to say that you don't see it, and it's not to say that it's not coming. Because it's coming, it's just, it's going to take a little preparation to get here, okay? So I don't feel like that's something you need to be worried about. I feel like the thing you need to worry about right now is yourself. You need to worry about how much light you shine on this world you are an amazing being and your light shines so bright it attracts others to you or towards you if you want to say that but it attracts others towards you and with that being said your energy is so high that even if you are feeling low or you're feeling like the day is just not your day is as much as people constantly attract towards you because you are still pushing out good energy, whether you realize it or not. With the Queen of Wands, this is you wanting to take action in a situation, but you feel like you're blocked. You could be blocked because either you have cut off to communication or you're apart from someone or something. Um... I also feel like this is kind of you feeling lonely to where you, you can't take action, where you can't express your feelings. And I don't feel like this is going to be a big blockage um, for a long time. I feel like this is going to be a blockage for right now because it's time for you to reflect upon yourself. Again, you could be at a distance from someone or someone could be at a distance from you, especially with the King of Cups here. But this is you just feeling that separation, you know, and it's nothing wrong with feeling separation from a situation. I feel like for some of you, this Queen of Wands is either you taking action in work or if it's not, okay, it, it, it is a form of work. It could be, um... It could be volunteer work, though. Not something that you get paid into doing. I feel like for some of you, you don't know which way to go to help something come together as far as uh, volunteer work goes. 
I feel like if you meditate, it will come to you. Um, it will very much open you up to the answer you're looking for. So be aware of that. Make sure you're clear when it comes to you because it's going to give you all the answer you need to move and to help the situation come together. Let's go into the action that's either you're going to be taking or the action that's going to be towards you. Okay. The Ten of Cups. I told y'all. It's still coming. It's just you have to you have to give it a moment. You have to be patient. You have to go within yourself to figure out what you want because I feel like, again... If you are in separation, you're trying to control the situation to come forward or the other person is trying to control the situation. Or it could be both, honestly. Um, but the divine is telling both of you to let go of your worries, let go of your fears, let go of not knowing how this is going to come together. One of you could be motionless at the moment. It could be, the I want to say the Divine Feminine, but because this is general message, please take what resonates and let go what doesn't. But I feel like the Divine Feminine could be motionless at the moment as far as not really wanting to get into her feelings. Um, it's not quite a bad thing, but because... You feel like in the past when you did open up, once something presented itself to you, you feel like it got knocked down. I mean, both of you could be feeling this, but I feel like with this Queen of Wands, it's your energy. Because you're waiting on your Knight of Cups to come in and present this cup of love again you do not have to be a female to embody the queen of wands you can be a male so let's get back into the action so the action the ten of cups this is happiness this is wish fulfillment this is the sun card that we talked about in part one um i mean it's just self-explanatory when it comes to the ten of cups this is you getting everything you desire, them getting everything they desire. I feel like the Ten of Cups did not come without a price, okay? So you, again, have to give each other space to kind of go through these moments of feeling lonely, feeling left out, feeling like, you know, you don't know how to move forward. Because once once you go through that moment of feeling that, you understand why you want to move forward. You get that passion and that fire back into you to make you want to take on what needs to be taken on as far as you and them. Because this is a this is a two-way street here. The next card you have is the Six of Pentacles. So once you come out of this hangman motion or energy, you come into balance. You come into understanding why things didn't work out. I feel like a lot of you are asking questions as far as why haven't this come together? Why is, you know, we still at this moment of either not speaking or not physically in contact? Again, you have to go through these steps because it's something definitely that we cannot see right now that's going on. That the divine has every bit of control over to help bring towards you. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like this balance is not only you receiving abundance, but you also giving back. The next card you have is the will of fortune. Things turning in your favor. You no longer feeling stuck because the next card we have is the four of pentacles. That was right after the Wheel of Fortune. But I'm not going to take that card because I don't feel like it goes into the action that's towards you. But um, this is you no longer feeling stuck. You no longer feeling like you have no motion to move. Um, for some of you, this Wheel of Fortune is 
you getting gratitude for sticking around or staying strong or something like that. For others of you, this is things turning in your favor. I mean, everyone, this is things turning in your favor. But I feel like this is things turning in your favor all the way from your childhood up until now. If that makes sense. Let's see if we can get a few more cards for that side. So, the Five of Cups did pop out. The Six of Swords. The Page of Wands. And I'm going to take these two. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles. So, before I begin into those, we're going to go into this Five of Cups and the Six of Swords. I feel like with the Five of Cups and the Six of Swords, this is you or the person you're thinking of holding a double-headed sword. And the reason why it's a double-headed sword is because either way they feel like which decision they make, they're losing. They feel like this is a lose-lose situation, even though they're still going to move forward. So they're still looking back at what they had to walk away from. This is them realizing that it came it came with the price okay so it's either a price of getting rid of the past well not quite getting rid of the past but getting over past emotions with someone else and moving into this new beginning with you but not only is it that it's them realizing their worth so it's still them looking at this past situation that basically crapped on them and vice versa because it, it, it crapped on them as well as them they could have been crapping on somebody else too so you know because it's a general reading I do see both sides of the story for some of them so I feel like with the six of swords this is them still moving forward out of hurt out of pain not realizing that even though it was hurt, it was pain, it was let down, that they're moving into a new beginning of great hopes. Um, they know that you are a great new beginning for them. It's just, you know, when it's something from the past, you got to let people heal on their own. And eventually they'll come speak to you about what's happening. But with them, if they're moving in between this hurt, in between realizing you know, what, what they're leaving behind is not going to help you or the situation. So you have to let them get through this. And then that's when the progress continues to grow, okay? Because you could feel like the progress is at a standstill, is at a halt, nothing is happening. But again, you have to realize some of them just came out of a tower moment. Some of who you're thinking of is coming from hurt, coming from a karmic situation, We go into the page of wands. Them making action, them setting out, making plans, and actually following through. As well as you following through on what you're saying because they're holding on to your word. This person is someone that's loyal. This person is someone that thinks of you highly. That That is your protector, okay? Um, And they want to protect you. So I feel like with the page of wands being here... Again, some of them is showing up for what they said. Some of them are definitely ready to step up or getting ready to step up. Um, it also depends on where you're at in your journey, okay? So we go into the Eight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. Hard work paying off. Hard work and achieving what you were looking forward to. Um, I feel like this could also, the not only is the pinnacle part of abundance, a money situation, but this definitely could be a part of a wish, a wish that was made. For some of you, you may not be aware that someone has thrown a penny into a fountain, and it was the fountain of love, and they're wishing upon you. Um... But this is just hard work paying off hard. It was hard work getting here. So I feel like 
again just be grateful for where you are what about where you're at okay um don't be selfish because again you could be f way back to where you first started and i feel like this is some of you recognizing how hard you've come through how hard you know it was a fight to get here to get to where you are and this is you just appreciating everything that's coming towards you regardless if it is a divine masculine or divine feminine but this is you appreciating the divine for putting things in your life the outcome you have the world card new cycles beginning you have the ten of pentacles i feel like for some of you family situations will be getting better as well um but not only is it that it's you and whoever you're thinking about merging your families together this is you two coming together you could be trying to right on top of the pregnancy card was the ten of pentacles so you could be trying to create a family of your own you have the ten uh i'm not the ten excuse me the nine of cups the nine of cups is of you both receiving wish fulfillment you have the eight of swords getting clarity getting out your head having this communication that you desire for some of you the eight of swords is the eight of swords is you getting out your own head you letting go those mental conflicts you have the six of cups which is could be reconciliation with someone new um that could be a past life relationship or someone that's definitely from your past that you already know but they don't have to be too far from your past this could be someone that's a little kind of in a news phase but at the same time this is you both knowing each other so this person will be familiar to you um yeah the next card you have is the chariot things moving forward things picking up i'm telling y'all this stuff is going to start picking up you just got to be ready you got to be ready <laughs> we do have the knight of wands so and it's at the bottom of the deck that's action under that was the um hermit card so let's get an oracle And I will be ending this reading. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. If you do not have your bell notifications turned on, please make sure your bell notifications are turned on. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't watched part one, part one is very interesting. Make sure you guys go and check out part one. So you have happiness is my birthright. And then the last card you have is when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a great day. Bye.